Ahoy everyone and welcome aboard, I'll be your Captain Hillen today, along with... Fearsome First Midrick here, at your service. And, and where's the game? Oh, right. <laughs> there, let me fix that. There we go. <laughs> Since it's still on screen caption, I put that to a button now to avoid anything personal from getting well, into a stream. I've already had to cover up something uh, once now. So let's keep that to a one-time thing. Uh, anyways. Uh, welcome back to Commandos 2, Man of Courage, which this should be the fourth stream or something. Uh, in the first stream we got through the training bits, we got through Night of the Wolves and into Dust Boots, Silent Killers. And in the second stream we finished Dust Boots, we got to White Death and last time was when we technically started on that or actually started moving around in that. Yeah. Um, I mean, this might be the third. Mm, I'll have to double check, but I named this one number four, so I think it was number four. I'll, I'll have to double check after and just edit out uh, then. And uh, yeah, this time let's uh, try and finish up White Death then. Our objectives at the moment are to once again save the crew who are should be behind one of the doors here. We had a pretty big mess up in that we had to. Well, we got. Uh, well. Not everyone, but Spooky got killed in a position where it would be very uh, difficult to get him back, I believe. Or to save him. Uh, so yeah, I, we did a reload, we lost a lot of progress. But now we're back to, well, Spooky having a uniform and having free reign of the ship, basically. Uh, thank you, thank you. I think you might write this might be the fourth. Well, I remember we start on the, se on the second time, we started on this one, then we spent the third one entirely on this one. And we haven't still finished it yet. Yeah. Okay, since this guy is... Com uh, come on. There we go. He was guarding, or he was looking out into the hallway, and we can't have the captain here moving around with him looking out in there. Okay, let me double check where everyone is. Inferno is still covering the door here. Yes. Tell me. Okay. I see you got your lockpicks already. We haven't seen Let's too many out. closed doors though, and if I remember correctly, there are a lot of soldiers behind these doors. So, uh, yeah, that's the engine room, which I believe we need to blow up, along with the turret controls. If you like. Ooh. Do I get to use the cannon? No, I don't think we can control it. The Inferno would likely be able to control it. I'm going. Okay. No. No, no. Can't go into there, but we can move over here and deal with this guy. Mm -hmm. Probably best to just knock him out. Because I'm not sure if we could grab our knife again after we. Well, with all of these annoying, <clears throat> with all of these annoying angles. Okay, now the captain can be freed and sent on this way. I'm going. Thank you. Looks like rescuing me has become rather a habit. If we all get to the submarine alive, we can probably escape under the ice. We should disable the engine and the gun emplacement generators. I'm certain it will be a lot easier to escape if we're not being fired on by that destroyer. Yeah, it's not like it can go anywhere since it's stuck in the ice. On the case. Let's see, we'll take that. And I'll leave that for Spooky. And might as well use up one of these so we have room for the rest. Okay. Um, that name, really? Yes. I thought hmm? the reason I'm hearing a certain song every time you say Spooky. Spooky scary skeletons. Let's go. Yes. That's the one. <laughs> okay, Spooks. You go get your poison. And then we'll look through all of these boxes again. Like we did last time. And hmm. Yeah, what I forget what exactly happened to well cause everything to go to hell last time. I think it was 
using a grenade inside or something and everyone just came charging out? Yeah. I kicked down the Australian Urbini. Uh, who doesn't have their winter clothes yet? Uh, yes, can we come over here for a moment? Uh, um, uh, oh, yeah, uh, those... um, it's Lucian. Not, not Lucian. Yeah, Lupin. Uh, Lupin! That's the one. Yeah, but Spooky also doesn't have winter clothes yet, so there we go. It unknowingly removes the, uh -huh. the disguise for a moment, but oh well, there's no one watching anyways. We. Oui. Bonus. And even more poison. <clears throat> My guess is that it's actually like uh, more narcotics or something that they're using to sleep. Hmm. Okay, but it might be an idea to just set up at the front door oh, with, uh, <clears throat> with a bunch of guns trained on the door and then luring these idiots out. Yes. Loop in. Can you come over for a moment? We can get you dressed up as well, because you are, you have the, the least amount of clothes of everyone here. Uh, if this game came out in these days, uh, there would definitely be the most uh, fan art of both Tiny and Spooky. Not, not Spooky, of Tiny and Lupin. For the exact opposite reasoning of each other. Okay. There we go. As in Dumb. Tiny being the big one and Lupin being the, sm the small one. <laughs> Let's see. Them. Pick this up again. Dumb. And okay. it's about time for you to head back out. You and Tiny Ready together. Start. Hmm. Yeah, I, I think I remember now what happened. We grenaded these guys and. Oops. Pin, where the hell were you running? I think we grenaded these guys, and for some reason, the people inside just started freaking the hell out. That happened also. So, yeah. Ready, sir. Right okay. yes. Double-checking everyone's positions. Did we check this box already? Yes, we did. Done. Okay. Already. All of. Oh yeah. What what also happened was, what no. What really killed it is that the captain got killed, and well, we couldn't continue on from yeah. there. Well, we could continue, but we couldn't actually finish the Why mission. Okay. This time, let's actually move everyone away from this hornet's nest before we Where grenade the turret. Are the guys in tower dead? Or what's going on there? Hmm? Gun tower. Is that, is anyone there? Uh, oh. These are here still, blocking okay. each other's way. They almost mel melding oh. with the ship. Okay, this might be a bit of a problem. The captain can't actually climb down the rope. Yes. What? I guess we'll just have to hide him over here then and hope for the best. Yes. Huh? Okay. Um, Lupin, you are not armed. Spooky should have a machine gun or no. Uh, who had a machine gun then? In. Okay, you grab, okay. you take that. Right, Actually, I you think, two swap. I think we really need to do something about the gun turret somehow. Uh -huh. Yeah, that's what I'm preparing for. I'm, I'm putting Lupin in here with the captain. Um, actually, we should probably save the. We should probably also put the crew somewhere safe, in case those get slaughtered. You should also Wait. probably do a save here and now. Yeah. Uh, that's not where they are. They're down here. Right out. In the meantime, 
in, you climb down and go hide with everyone else. Yeah, that, that's Bruno, why I say you, you should probably... Okay. Yeah. But yeah, before you stalk your trick, you save in case it fails horribly. Yeah. Uh, let's see, which key was it again? Yes. F. Okay. Just guard the yeah. door. Come on, you over there, you up there, yes. and you over here. Okay, all y'all. Okay. Hmm. Oh, it's, like, it's like watching lemlings. Let's go, guys. <laughs> I think you mean lemmings. <laughs> Uh, I meant the game. Yeah, it's the same name. Oh, bloody you say Lemlings with an extra Lemling, L in the middle. I, it's been a while. I, know, I, I tried to play as I was yes. a kid. The one that played mostly was my brothers and my mother. We're ready. Okay, all of you just stuff in there. Yep. Okay. Not you, Inferno. I feel old just thinking about it, but then again, people still memeing about those little bastards. <laughs> yeah, they are very memeable. Okay. Uh, you have a machine gun. Ho, ho, ho. Right out. You also have a machine gun with less ammo, but still cover the door. Yes. Uh, spooky, get away from there so you don't get gunned down by your own friends. Uh -huh. Tell me. We're ready. All of you in the corner. Yes. Not you, Lupin. There we go. Okay. This might all just be a bit of over prep, but I'd rather be certain <laughs> that they don't get themselves killed. <clears throat> well, well, I don't get them killed. Okay, um... But over prepping is oh, usually better than no prepping at all. Uh -huh. I forgot to hand over the grenades. So then again, it also depends how you, you are yes. over prepping. Like, I guess there are situations where over prepping may backfire severely. Yeah. Uh huh. Okay, you go meet him, get your explosives. <laughs> Plenty of explosives. You give that over to him. There you go. Inferno is a very happy man now. <laughs> uh -huh. Right now. Right now. I, I did uh -huh. not select you. Okay. Well, yes. I did not willingly select them. I do have to say, the head animations are very good considering how old this game is. Yeah. It is a bit Earthworm Jim like though. Okay, just a bit closer. And boom. Okay, they just don't care at all on the outside here. So I'm pretty sure they would have been able to hear that explosion. Yeah, and I would probably suspect that uh, there's an entire ship full of soldiers ready to do something. Yes. Okay. Now we do a quick little save, <laughs> which I should have done before. Oh, for love of! Uh, they have no reason to go looking in the turrets, though. Okay. So they are probably scrambling around like ants in there. But they should have no reason to come out. Well, except for the fact that they were the... Why are those two over there? Probably in this game, was the boom here or where? Why the hell were they running over that way? Uh, I should see about getting myself uh, some... <clears throat> some World War II model ships at some point. Oh dear, and hello, Rum! Oh, hey there. Damn it. Hey, can you hear me? 
Yes. They can hear you. Okay. A bit low, but still audible. Are those two just going to be patrolling out here now? Oh, they found corpses. Oh, they found bodies inside because the alarm inside isn't outside isn't going off. What? That's a lieutenant, not an officer. Oh. They can't it's see through the disguise. I mistook him for the bee for a moment. <laughs> Now this sniper is at the tip here. Let's see. Okay, looks like they're calling down again. So let's go take a peek inside. <laughs> I say that and they panic again. Are you sure this is not so much alarm clock? <laughs> I mean, if it's alarm clock, that person probably got thrown out of the boat a long time ago because it would have they were woken up the everyone. <laughs> yeah. Okay, let, let's leave them to panic for a bit. And let's see. Uh, oh, good God. Uh, wait, what? What even is the mission? I just realized. I just joined up. Oh, uh, I they... shall explain. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, we. We, we accidentally cracked into the ice with our submarine and got captured. So now we are trying to save everyone and escape. Yeah, we started off with only the diver, this one, and yeah, we had to free everyone. That... Oh, okay, that that was them sounding the alarm there. Luckily, there shouldn't be any officers alive in the area. But yeah, we can leave them to panic for a bit. We miss you. Yeah, we we save the crew, we save the captain. Now we need to disable the destroyer's guns and engine, so we can safely get away. The guns mostly because this thing is stuck in the ice, so they can't really chase us. But better to disable this thing entirely, so it can't be used later on. Okay. Okay. Inferno, you come out. Okay. Now, hopefully they're done freaking out. I probably could have saved a bit of time by hiding the, the bodies somewhere, but oh well. That's it. Yeah, for so far. They are so alone every time they find a body. Uh -huh. And also, the concept it. of a prank. Say you, you make an alarm clock having this kind of uh, alarm sound. Uh -huh. And we, for example, hide it in Rom's room. That would be one way to declare war on someone. Yeah, what's your last that? Would that be cruel? Uh, definitely. I know, I know there's... I know there's pods you can buy... Or that give off a low-frequency sound that you can't audibly hear... But it will annoy the absolute fuck out of you if you're nearby. So this is the first time I think we're using these. So Spooky, you retreat as far back as you can. Yeah. Okay. Uh, uh, Rom, how would you react if someone did that to you? We. Oui. And it's already down. The whistle, incredibly loudly at me. Uh, I mean, uh, replace your alarm clock with an actual alarm, <laughs> like this one. Uh huh. Hmm? I'd be pissed. <laughs> okay, let's plant this thing. Especially since okay. it would just wake me or anybody in my apartment, it would wake up the entire complex. Uh huh. Yeah. It doesn't particularly <laughs> help that we live next. That like, I don't know, a few like blocks from here, there's a there's an Peruvian oh, Air wrong. Force base. Okay. So. We live not too far from an Air Force base, and suddenly an alarm starts to play. Take three guesses as to what happened. Yeah. <laughs> Someone tried to steal a plane. Sometimes. It's, it's those fucking GTA 5 players again and getting into the airbase. 
Oh dear gods. Oh, yeah. To be fair, they're... Well, I mean, they don't have to give a shit of a five-star rating. Okay, disabled stern gun and the back gun, or the central gun. Okay, those are right next to each other. Though I, we haven't found how to get into there yet. We maybe found some way to into some of them, but hmm. probably just through one of these doors here. And they're coming down again, even though <laughs> instead of a freaking explosive in their gun turret. Right, and one of the guns is still alive. Yeah. Uh, Oh. Come what? on again? Uh, what just happened there? You, you alerted someone. Uh, Wait, what what, what happened was someone climbed up here for some reason, spawned the body, and sounded the alarm, and suddenly they started gunning down Spooky, even though he was fully in disguise. I mean, just... one of them is an officer. No, I'm only seeing lieutenants here. Is it a lieutenant an officer? Now, the, the officers can see through the disguise, the lieutenants can't. Because we had that earlier with the pair patrolling around here. Oh. Hello there, Temi Aquinia. Uh, thank you for the follow. <laughs> Hope you're enjoying the show. And there was um, yeah. Oh dear. Uh, are we able to revise the spooks? Uh, yeah. Someone else has med has med packs. Uh, yeah, a bunch of them have med packs. So we just need to get to him and revive him. This is a yeah. This we can recover from. Let's go. Uh, it will take a bit of work though. To now, not too much work. There's only these this guy here and this guy that patrols back and forth here that we need to deal with. Yeah, it should be easy enough to just gun them down or. Well, stab them from a distance with spook and not spooky with fins. It'd be easier to just kill everyone in the boat. Yeah, no. Early on, he actually knocked out those uh, up in their gun turrets. Only to later regret not killing them. Yeah. And it seems that someone has mounted this gun now. I don't think he was there earlier. He was there earlier. Yeah. But... Hmm. I guess there's some... Uh, are they manning it to do to there's no one else manning it? I'm not sure. I completely overlooked him if he was already there. Yeah. I think one is bugged. Yeah, he's stuck, I think. Yeah, that, that, that little passage is a bit... Little. Oh well. Question is, is that a issue for us or a benefit? A uh, benefit, yeah. I'd say. Since, well, he's looking over here every now and then, and, well, we all know how... <laughs> no, he has no interest in them, apparently. Okay, he's, he's acting like a... He's yeah. acting like a Nazi... Uh, what is the... What is the word again? He's acting like a Nazi lighthouse with the turning around that constantly. He's constantly tricking himself on the body. Oh, I found the body, turns around, turns back. I found the body, turns around, turns back. I found the body, at the minute. Oh dear gods, we broke the game. Yeah, we got his attention there for a bit. To... Yeah. There is a way to fix it, just kill the guy. Yeah. Issues going close enough yeah. to, but we have enough movement around the place that we don't really need that side anymore. And you can't see on the other yeah. end. And... Okay, yeah. we have no need. We have no. We have no one who can use sniper rifles at the moment. Yeah. Actually, simple enough. Oop. I thought that would be low enough to hide him. Apparently not. Oh well. It's not like it, it's not like they're dim enough to still fall for this trick. Even after they see someone in a full rubber suit crawling around. 
Let's see, can we just dump... Yes, we can. Here, come on. Pins, dump him over the edge here, please. Yeah, oh well, just carry him around then. One thing uh, I found he... out, I'm going to need a new case for my PC, I'm going to need a new power source for my PC, and I'm going to have to get an external CD DVD reader. Yeah, uh, read a bit of that on the Discord. Yeah. To make a long story short, I apparently did not think any of this through when I was trying to just upgrade my PC. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it's good way to be doing PC, but good goes you probably gonna need a lot of help. Yeah, at the point I'm at, I'm just gonna just wind up with the amount of pieces needed for a new PC altogether, so I just I could have just bought a new one and that was that. Yeah. Uh, let's see, no one in here. We. Oui. No one up here. I'm keeping fins nearby just in case. Oh, that just goes up here. <laughs> That's really useful. You went into the room that goes upstairs and you didn't think, hey, this goes upstairs. Okay, there's the engine room. Oh, it's <laughs> just phasing through the floor. Oh, let's see, just three guys. Is there any of the steam things nearby? I see the control. I see controls, but I'm... Hmm. We've tried to use those before, but it didn't actually do anything. Okay, if we can't check what they do, then it's probably steam. Yep. Perfectly placed. <laughs> okay. What is that? Ow! Uh, no I room for I that. That's gotta be a really weird headlock. Head <laughs> that's gotta be a weird obituary. Died by steam. Okay. Well, it's a no joke. It is rather painful. Yeah. Uh, okay, that's the engine room. I was trying to make a joke referring to valve steam. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Okay. Uh, Fins, you get up here and hide in there for the moment. Oh, yeah. Just in case this goes wrong. I've never been good at making jokes. Ooh, uh, yeah. Hello. Dab him. You just throw that thing right into his sternum. What? Okay. I'm guessing it'll activate over here or there. Either way, one or the other is probably going to spot it. Though they shouldn't tie it to Spooky at the controls here, because, again, they are rather dim. Oh, okay, that lasted long enough to kill them both. Alright. Did he just run to help his friend, only to get steamed himself? Yep. Okay. Alright. We can bring Inferno over to deal with these guns. And then through here, through there, we should be able to okay. also get into the engine room and work away at that. Oh dear gods! Oh, that's actually an object. Okay, I, <laughs> I didn't know that that would actually point us quite literally towards an objective. Let's go. Uh, uh, things you might want to get out. Uh, we remember random uh, we were facts. Uh -huh. For a tank that never got built, I think we talked about this in the first stream. Certain someone with a mustache liked these cannons ah. so much, these hip cannons so much, that he wanted them on a tank. <laughs> the rats? Yeah, and yeah, it was too big. <laughs> Definitely like, sure, too big. Sure, you could make it drive slowly, but it will break the roads, it would break the bridges. Maybe. And you would need to make it at least somewhat waterproof if you want to run uh, through a small uh, stream or uh -huh. something. Yeah, basically, you have. Basically, it would serve better as a defensive turret. It's done. Okay, what put that there. Funny. Hmm? Um, the Soviet Union, France, and I don't remember, I think there was another country. Because they're older tanks, they basically, like, 
put them into positions to act as turrets and just use concrete to basically leave them in place, just leaving the turret so that it can fire. At your service. Yeah, so we Let's haven't go. used this thing yet, yes. so let's actually give it a shot. I think that's how you get out of the level. But I have to say, that that's not a bad I improvised idea. Let's go. And yeah, we have a command for going sending this thing up, <laughs> and then we can just move it around. Oh, okay. Oh dear. Okay. Uh, actually, Inferno, pick that thing oh, up there. Fine. And we put it over That's here, it. because these go they're going to come swarming in through here. No problem. And with a bit of luck, perhaps, uh, we can actually catch a bunch of them with the second no explosion. Problem. Okay, put that down and get the fuck out. <laughs> what? Yeah. They're on uh -oh. set timers. That's it. Different door. He's still panicking over there. He's still panicking over the same corpse again. Yes. There we go. Now give them some time to get there. Let's go. This is fully... Ex I fully don't... <laughs> Fully expect this to not work, but there. Okay, it didn't look like we got anyone in the blast. But it is at least both all of the guns disabled. Only the engine room remains. Uh, Pins, you come here and lower that thing down. Pick Inferno up just in case they start looking around here. And yeah, we can fit four people in there, I believe. One for each corner. Why am I thinking of the song going to hell in a handbasket when you're using the <laughs> air balloon? Uh, well, if if you've been a bad person and you <laughs> your your balloon catches fire, you are definitely going down <laughs> fast in a handbasket. Oh dear gods. Okay, there is this whole deal with this plane here, but I don't think we can actually do much with any of that. I, or, hmm, that I might be how we get out. The model. I don't recognize that model at all. I don't think I've ever seen that plane before. Yeah, it could just be a generic attempt at an airplane. Okay. Actually, let's go deal with that jackass. You're just standing there, looking back and forth the whole time. Uh, why did you stop, Spooks? Yeah, we have more than enough toxins, so... Uh, uh, why? Is it the turn? Apparently, I think, I don't know. Okay, what's... Okay, I guess running is seen as suspicious. Odds. Oh, and they found bodies. Probably in the now exploded turret rooms. Hmm. Next objective is destroy the engine room, I presume. D disable the stern gun. It's already been disabled. So, oh, I think I know what... Okay, I think I, I marked it. Uh, let's recover the three pink parts of the Enigma machine. I, didn't we already do that? Uh, let's see. Use the radio in the cam. But <laughs> completely forgotten to do that. Okay. Uh, let's just take a look in here. I thought the door was blown out for a moment, but no. Did it not work or something? Okay, they're both out. Is there another gun somewhere? Right now, probably the ones in the back. Now this is the back. We. Oui. Uh, front. Let's see. Okay, it is marked off. Hmm. Okay. 
weird. Uh, they're gonna mm. run. Done. Well done, men. You have done a great job to this point. But it is of vital importance that the machine, codes, and the cylinders get here as soon as possible. Your journey by submarine will take too long. You should all escape in the submarine apart from the Green Beret and the Spy. The two of you must fly back here with the complete Enigma machine. Good luck, men. All of you. Okay. So that is why that is there. I'm ready. Green Beret and the Spy team try to figure out how to fly a Nazi airplane with the rest, try to figure out how to drive a Nazi U-boat. Yeah, no, this is the either an American or English one, because that's the one we saved in the previous mission. Uh, the question is, okay, so that means there's an actual crew on board. Yeah, yeah, the big crew that we've got locked up in the turret over here. With one of them phasing through the freaking wall. Oh, oh dear. Uh, gotta love these camp level games at times. Or jank, or... Okay, not interested, apparently. I mean, what are you? Is a normal soldier? It could be worse. It could be a slap. Yeah. What? Uh, base, that's, that's what games... Uh, uh, you... Yeah, I'm tripping over my tongue. You might be better at explaining that, Rom. Basically, a giant game is a game made on, like... Oh, yeah. Um, like former satellite states of like the Soviet Union, and when they're not really good per se, you need very janky. Not exactly, yeah, that just kind of confusingly made in such a way that it <laughs> understandable that that you have another. What the fuck? So all the soldiers in the room just conglomerated into one entity for a moment there. Okay. Uh, another reason to burn this thing down then. We might have the thing over here. Yeah, no, maybe look for the Enigma parts before you blow up more. I thought we already collected those, but I guess I might have overlooked them. But Oh, I forgot to pick them the up. running triggers them. There, they should be dumb enough to not catch that. Okay. <laughs> uh, come back to me once you've realigned yourself with the correct reality there. <laughs> yeah, that, that was a dumb oh, move. Why are you breaking the level? Okay. Okay. Everyone. Let's see, Maybe this should be like easy enough to do it. All the penguins! Yep. Yeah, that it, should not be here. It's the North this Pole. This is the North Pole. Now, it, it's, it's towards the North Pole. It's not at, exactly at right? the North Pole. Somewhere in the North Sea, they said. Yeah, but, yeah. but the penguins are in the South area. Like South Africa and the uh, South Pole. Oh, and it's gun. Oh, yeah, there has been penguins in South America, but they're extinct now. Uh, uh, Those in the... South America were the biggest ones, okay. like uh, two meters tall. Um, uh, there it is. Uh, say wrong? That guy is dead on the bridge of the ship. All of them are. Dead. <laughs> one's just nude, or in his underwear. Ooh, and there's another one over here. It died, and then the guy who killed you just strips you of your clothes and puts them on as like this as a makeshift disguise. No, not so much makeshift, but it, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Dear gods. Yeah, that was another steam trap there. Okay. Now, what would be the safest way to go deal with this? 
I am tempted to just grenade this guy and the others to be done with them. Let's Save go. before you do. I mean, it can probably be easier. Okay, can you land that thing down here? Not enough room. Not enough room either. Think about how Shaggy from Scooby Doo is, this, is probably the fastest man alive in the Scooby Doo universe. <laughs> yeah. Is? Long story short, do you ever think about how fast a Great Dane runs and how Shaggy can actually match a Great Dane's speed? No problem. Good question, though. It's Scoob we're talking about, so... Mm. Okay. They both run a lot, but also eat a lot. And Go uh, Scooby, I almost called him Goofy, is Scooby has that weird-ass uh, <laughs> run where he just basically cartwheels his legs. Oh dear gosh. Shut, shut up, you. Okay, I think I just realized now... I was been wondering why they've never been really awake to see how much they eat. Then I realized they probably burn a lot of calories running from the ghosts, the monsters. Oop. Just dodge that one. Seriously, why are these two over here of all places? <coughs> I don't like I don't know. <laughs> Are they like a... Ryuga, or Ryo, I forget the spelling of his name, from Granma, that when they need to go left, they go right or something. Wait, wait, you read Granma? And not read, but I seen the anime through. Not all of the AMVs, not, not AMVs, not all of the specials, yeah. or however you would call them. I got the complete collection of the manga. <laughs> okay. I vaguely remember watching it and like, I don't know, Cartoon Network when I was like six or something. Wait, it aired on Cartoon Network? I live in Peru, we have... We have... It was the middle of the night and I live in Peru. In, okay, in, in the night, I guess, considering it does have some... Um, mild nudity. Yeah, uh, Finch, you get out and start murdering your way across uh -huh. here. Inferno just posing against the wall. Let's go. I'll got it. There we go. Yeah. I think this will be the safest way to get over to the plane. Mm -hmm. Everybody. Just work our way across from here. Did you pick up your knife? I picked it up, yeah, and someone got a glimpse there. Oh, oh. Okay, I thought it was the sniper, but no. I'm going. Uh, uh, just hide on the water. You have infinite air. We can pull this thing out again with a little trick. Now, if, because of the diving suit, Finn is the only one who is immune to the cold. Uh, the others all need Arthur clothing. I'm ready. Uh huh. That's actually. No problem. Oh, you know, they cleaned up the body. I, I thought there were more here. It would have been a perfect time to just grenade them. Okay. It's okay, done. Vince, you get back up. Nice. Oh, there you are. Should we recruit the penguins? <laughs> Don't think we can. Okay, you get closer to the ship, and then surface. You should be under his line of sight now. There we go. Let's grab that. And deal with him. Okay. And now we just slowly start killing our way over here. Okay, apparently he's not alarmed enough to actually raise the alarm. 
I, I guess he must be thinking we've been we've dealt with so many of these dead idiots already. Might as well just stop giving a shit. Okay, spooks, you get over there. Uh, can you actually get over there to, without? Yes, you can. Let's go. Dump this dumbass. I should probably look where that lieutenant and his follower are coming from every time. Let's see here, things are getting a bit dense. We can grenade these guys. But these here should be easy enough to deal with. Okay, see ya. See ya, sleep well, Rum. Let's go. Yeah, we, we can try that tonight if you want, okay. or if you think you can hit your upgrade. Did that miss? Anyways, maybe, maybe not today, maybe later. Okay, right. see ya. You see? <laughs> nice to have him around. Yeah. <laughs> it's just the time zones. Uh, yeah, time zones are just, just a bit trying to, uh, well, <laughs> uh, plan stuff with him and such. Yeah, like we both, in, me and he now, are both in Europe and in the same time zone. Rome is in South America. Yeah. Let's go. Yeah, we. So that's a lot of hours difference. At the moment, it's almost 4 p.m. here. Um, so it would be somewhere around 6 a.m. for him or something. Uh, something like that. Um, I don't keep good track of uh, time zones. But some areas I remember time zones off uh, without issue, but others less so. I am surprised that that, uh, right out. that uh, technically you and me share the same time zone as South Africa. I'm going. Yeah. Okay, just wait for all of these guys to stop looking to start looking away. Are you? Yeah. You do not have line of sight. Good. Okay, just grab them and dump them, and then we do the same with him. Oh dear God! Uh, also, I think in the, lo the last time we streamed this game, I said something dumb akin. Uh, you asked something about uh, World War II games, and that I said some that this would uh, was the last one I had or something. But that, that is very much not the truth. As well, we still have the Call of Duty games and such. Yeah, you did mention Call of Duty. So, yeah, I don't remember exactly what I said, but it was dumb. Okay. All right. We're going to continue spear fishing. In a moment. No, I will show up. I will be commentating on the old Call of Duty games. Yeah. The, the, the Call of Duty games are just very active, I'll say. So that does make commentating yeah. rather difficult. Yeah. And also. I usually find that World War II games a bit hard to add commentary to, to sometimes to like, uh, like you know sometimes add random facts and all that. Yeah. It's a bit hard with uh, World War II, where there's so much uh, unpleasantness about it. Yeah. Okay. And you also do want to accidentally misspeak or something. Yeah, and just get the half the internet thinking you were you know, a Nazi or something. Yeah, because I say I, I hate them. I think I said before that I hate uh, the guy with the mustache. Yeah. And I, I'm avoiding seeing his name because I don't know you can't say his name without YouTube reacting or something. 
Uh, I haven't so uploaded any of this VODs for this game yet, so I guess we'll find out when I do. And yeah, I'll. But uh, after this, I should be able to have uploaded and well, processed and uploaded all of the remaining streams that well I hadn't yet. Uh, yeah, this is a massive chunk for. Yeah, I probably had not uploaded with you one or two months. Uh, it I wasn't checked. that I, I had uploaded a ton of the VODs, but I hadn't published them yet. Yeah, so... So yeah, today I should finally be caught up on that. I, I just wonder how some of the subscribers on YouTube side will react, but suddenly there's... Oh, good God, 100 new videos available to watch. <laughs> yeah, it's not that many. Uh, but yeah, I... I did you know, have to brush things a bit in that I mostly just <laughs> uploaded them, uh, renamed them, uh, because I have a, a naming scheme with OBS. It's just uh, year, month, day, and then the game's name or shorthand for the game's name, uh, and the, the episode number, of course. Hmm. Wait, if the video has the day and month, but I mean, we can easily identify when I joined. Uh, I, I did, yeah, the, the recordings, I, I didn't start with the recordings until a certain point, though. Uh, the, before it was just up, you know, I just downloaded them from you know, Twitch and then uploaded them uh, onto YouTube. Yeah. So, no, that... Uh, it, oh, you both have full empty fours. Uh, but yeah, um, we should be able. It should be able. Yeah, we should be able to make it more easily findable because we also have the stream anniversary on about the same day. I think I'll just have to go look through the the vods again. Though that's a bunch of <laughs> okay. Um, let's grab those at the very least, and we can probably put the this one in here for the moment i don't think we have a need for this many time bombs if we can find if we can find one of these that'll be perfect there we go poison these i really don't know or understand why it won't allow us to use the last of the sleeping pills or some for some reason hmm. yeah it's kind of weird and even more explosives Okay, I think they were trying to clear the ice from the ship. And... Okay, throwing these actually doesn't have a keybind, it seems. And they're called the, the, the wrong thing. Hmm. Maybe I'm go I'm going to do try something dumb here to see if it works. Whatever if I can get all three of these to grab themselves a, a poisoned or a drugged uh, wine uh, bottle and see if they get knock each other uh, knock themselves out in quick enough succession to uh, <coughs> to not wake each other up <laughs> this is so dumb and if this works oh uh, what oh I, for I forgot the smokes okay did those two can knock each other out. Oh, this one goes for now. Yep, that's one down and that's two down. <laughs> it actually fucking worked. For the most part. Well done, Hillian. <laughs> no need for grenades when booze will do. <laughs> oh, dear gods. Uh. Feed the wine. <laughs> uh, if, if it weren't... If it weren't for the allegiance of this person, very obviously. This would be a pretty snazzy uniform. Uh. Okay. <coughs> that should be the entirety of the outside cleared out, I think. Except for the walrus crew over here. There's two dumbasses stuck on a sheet of ice with walruses. Actually, I, I think we separated them when we crashed through here, because there's no land bridge here. 
Oh dear. Cool buggers. <clears throat> All right. And now we need to get if some like folks <laughs> into the airplane and the others into the submarine. Uh -huh. Then we can escape this wonderful frozen yes. land. Hellscape. Uh, all of you, come on here. Go. There we go. It, it, it looks nice to me. Again, I, I miss now, no. so can you blame me? Uh huh. Uh, yeah. <laughs> There's That's been it. like. Z now, there hasn't been oh, zero gosh. snow over here. There has been a very, very light and thin patch at one point, but yeah, beyond that, uh, 2022 was snow free, I believe. Yeah, we, ever, ever since the pandemic, we have gotten more snow. <laughs> there goes Lupin, just charging ahead. But, yeah. <laughs> For a time, it was like mostly rain in December, then snowy okay. January, oh, February, when snow stormed. Like, it was rainy, then after New Year, I came winter with a hammer face with snowstorms and all, but okay. then just. More rain, yes. or maybe sometimes we got some snow in November, but not December. <laughs> and then rain, 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 and then at one point we've got snow in right Easter. What? You go so there. But this year in a bit, we had some snow in December oh. and November, and also some in January a little bit. But we still have uh, some winter months left to go, yeah. so we have to see. But yeah, I kind of miss snow. I think I forgot to pick up one of the knives at one point, because we only have one, it seems now. <laughs> oh well, one still works. Okay. Spooks lead the way. And yeah, we're going to have to... Actually, I think <laughs> there is a very easy way that we can deal with the people in here. By just, well... Stacking up on the door here and gunning them down as they come. We. Oui. Right out. Okay, you two down. Uh, it feels hmm. nice to be coughing less and less now. Yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, eating and drinking does have a, a tendency of. Oh. Okay, accidentally almost knocked something over there. It was sticking out. Uh, Let's go. Some things have been agitating my throat, like oh. eating or drinking. I'm going. Uh, but overall, it has been lessening more and more. Yeah, so it usually feels better after I eat or drinking, but sometimes the food helps me, well, cough out yeah. something, and I feel better afterwards. Like when I drink noodles, it actually just, well, I guess you could say dislodge. Miss you. So I cough <laughs> out something and I feel better. Okay. Because there I was a sniper up there. Let, let's take, let's take a quick look. Did I did I get someone with the explosive after all? Because there was a rifleman up here. We. Oui. But they're gone. Also, there's a little room there. Did smash here. him? Oh, he's still confused here. Oui. Uh, let's give you an antidepressant. And give you a different reason to be depressed whilst you're tied up next to a big blown up piece of equipment. You were using syringes. I thought you were stabbing yeah, him with a knife. <laughs> okay, there. I guess there were two up here and they got unstuck. Oh well. Go join your friend. You can make a therapy group of two. All my. And I think we can actually just now go plant the bomb. We just need to distract this guy who is moving around. And yeah, that'll be that. Is our coded favorite possibly Spooks and Finn? Yeah, they, they are. All of the commandos are really useful in their own ways. Uh, Lupin, for example, can just climb walls and such. And he, he is good at moving stuff around. Uh, Inferno is, well, the explosive experts. That's just all that you need to know there. And uh, Oh, that's where he's been, I see, I think. It, near the main guns. Okay. 
Uh, yeah, let's distract you. And, yeah, then Inferno can just sneak in with his massive sack of explosives and leave a present. I'm, okay. I'm not even going to knock this guy out. I'm just going to plant the bomb and get out. Uh, wait. Yes. Spooky has the bomb. Uh, I'm, I'm not going to risk a time bomb here, so Spooks, leave that guy be for a moment. And <laughs> go hand over the high explosives. Oh dear. <clears throat> but yeah, some of the commandos are a bit more useful, like Spooky, you know, Spooky is basically the top tier since he can just cause so much chaos and be so useful by just disrupting enemy movements and such. And actually, I don't even think we need to go distract that guy anymore since he's over there. Yeah, there we also have Finn's throwing knives. Yeah. Oop. Okay. Mm. Like, the, the Spook and Finn is the guys that makes everyone else's job easier. Yeah, and also Natasha. Since he can yeah. also distract. Okay. Okay. I'm alert, sir. Let's get out of here and let them enjoy their present. Yeah? Wait. Oh. Oh. Oh, dear. Um. Hmm? Yeah. How many did you plant? <laughs> Enough. Uh -huh. Okay. Um. You go pick up the Enigma. Uh -huh. uh, did you find all the, the parts? I think so. Uh, yeah, for, what, three I parts, think. was it? Yeah, we have the cylinders, we have the documents, and then there's the Enigma machine itself, which is currently in that box over there. So... Yes. Oh, he just went the short way and just ran through the ice water. Huh? It should That's... be one of these. There it is. Okay. That doesn't That's... seem like a good idea. Oh. Okay, that is a small enough gap, I guess. Okay. Uh, Inferno, strong Fins. No, no slacking behind Fins. And, okay, there was just no doorway behind the door there for a moment. Okay. You two get to the sub. Yeah, but are you two? You need two for the plane. We're ready. Yeah, the Green Beret and the Spy, and they're both here. Yes. Did it explode? Yeah. Let's see. Da -da -da -da. Green Beret and the Spy must use the plane to take the machine. All others must escape in this up. And that's all objectives. That's it. So... Yeah. You get in there. And you get in there. And then the mission should be done. Okay, did we miss someone? Let's see. Green Beret. Pins. Inferno. Yes. Lupin is here. Yes. Spooky is here. Uh All others, but did we miss someone? Okay, this is awkward now. Did you miss the captain or something? Yeah, the, the captain should be in the ship here. Uh, that should that should be him. Hmm. Who? Did I miss one of the soldiers inside or something? Uh, let's see. a crew member or something? Maybe. Going I just hope you haven't broken the map. More. Uh -huh. Let's see. Everyone is accounted for. Every... They did not disable the 
Okay, destroy the engine. So it is blown up now. Hmm. Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll check the holding area. And I'll check the turret where I hit them next. Maybe one of them is still in there. What are you two dumbasses doing? Oh. Okay, nobody got close enough to make them selectable. That's a bit dumb, oh. but oh well. Get your asses moving. Bye, Odin. Let's go. Okay. Let's go. Uh, why were you behind? Okay. We're ready. You two, through that door, spooks through that door. We're ready. And just get to the sub. Yes. Get to the sub. <laughs> I think I'm afraid of being there. Yeah, that, that line works a bit better with choppers and not subs. <laughs> Okay, with yeah, those lazy bones, think... we should be done. Yeah, I don't think calling the sub subba will work. Uh, oh, the wait. Subarine. I think it's sub sub. Oh, wait, I think that's a. Huh. I have to double check. I think that might be a Swedish for a female pig. I think it would have needed a bit more, but oh well, <laughs> it's cool to see that thing fly over the nose. <clears throat> Mission completed. And yeah, still no so, uh, yeah, still no extra levels. May 1942. After conquering Hong Kong, Singapore and the Philippines, Japan overcomes Thailand and Burma in a few weeks. Its next objective, India. The plan consists in launching a powerful offensive through the borders of Burma, advancing to Calcutta, there joining its forces landed on the southern Indian coast, thus trapping the Allies in a deadly pincer point. The Allied High Command, settled on the plains of Imphal, knows the key to preserve India consists in stopping the Japanese offensive at the border. This is a heroic task, as the Allied troops are outnumbered and exhausted from months of defeats and withdrawals in the Asian continent. Cut off, with no hope of reinforcements in weeks, the only hope lies in a single battalion of the British Army, a group of mercenary fighters of Indian origin, fearful warriors known for their ferocity and courage in battle, the first battalion of the Gurkhas. Okay, he mostly stuck to the script there. And... Uh I did not know Japan re got that far in. I don't know if they actually did. So this game isn't, of course, isn't very, isn't one hundred percent historically accurate. But yeah, we're moving to the other front. Fred, why were you doing that? Well, there have been quite a few changes around here. Indeed. But our objective hasn't changed since we left. And our escape route out of here is still moored and in position. This spiritual leader guy has to be a very important man for HQ to send us into the jungle to rescue him. He is. Remember, we have to neutralize the enemy commander too. When he eventually shows up. Have you located any local allied support? Ah, uh, no trace. Those goikers are like ghosts. Although we haven't checked the sewers yet. That would be nice. Are we going to wait here for the tyrant? Or shall we get going? We should get going. 
This heat's going to drive me insane. Okay, then. Remember, not one scratch on our holy man. Once he's safe and we have armed support, we can take care of the tyrant and free this town. Yeah, and yeah. we're starting with someone new. It's about time. Yeah, and see, I really like the architecture here. For I only recently learned that uh -huh. many provinces in India, or uh, I don't know if they call provinces. I might be wrong there, but many oh. regions have their own, almost own unique architecture. This is one of them. Yeah, it is very nice to look at. Uh, yeah, I, I don't think many people know that India had these have kind of like this. Most people like probably think of a, well, the Masurara or what, what is it called again? That famous palace in India. Uh, Mahar no, that's the, that's a title. Uh, Taj Mahal. Yeah, Taj Mahal, yeah. Yeah, I think many think of that when they think of India, but no, they are way more varied. So they have some that are a bit of Arabic influence, but also, well, maybe you could say uh -huh. typical East Asian influence, like there are a lot of blending going on, but they, as you see, people here, they does get uh, mm -hmm. a unique feel. Okay, it's turned a bit nice. more than expected. And also, who is the new guy? Yeah, well, uh -huh. come on, pick him up quick. There we go. But yeah, now we have access to yes. Duke, who is the sniper of the team. Here. So yeah, we'll find we'll have our use for the sniper rifles that we'll be stealing. Okay. Yeah, we are kind of missing a sniper. Yep. Okay. Now let's slowly but surely cut our way through the forces here, a bit literally in some cases. And yeah, we need to go find those Gurkhas. Uh, I remember, I know I've heard the name. More before, but I forget in what context, though. Yeah, I think I heard them too. So, first time I think I saw the word without context, I was wondering, has someone misspelled Gurkha wrong? And completely wondering what Gurkha is, is cu cucumber. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's see, can we get an explanation on the sniper? No. Okay, but yeah. Sniper rifle, you can guess what it does. It's take targets out from long range, but of course it is not silenced. So, yeah, you'll want to be careful with that thing. Now, we can take this guy out whilst those aren't looking. And yeah, we won't have access to Spooky or Natasha in this level. So, yeah, we'll have to be a lot more methodical. Oh. What? We do. Nope. Uh, have you, have, have you finished this game before? Yeah. Alright. So I recall the first time I got through was actually with a, uh, a written guide. Why I'm not surprised. <laughs> well, I was... Mm, I forget how old then, but... Let's see, this game came out uh, some 20 years ago, so yeah, I would have been <laughs> young teenager then. Yeah, I, I, I have done that before with some games with a written guide. I even copied out one and to my surprise it was bigger than expected. Oh, and we've got another little hazard here. Crocodiles. Oh. oh. Um, yeah. yeah. If, wonder, if those cats are commandos, this? they're dead. Can we use them, though? I'm not sure. It, okay, just slice his throat open. Okay, grab the body and go dump it. Yeah, let, let's go feed the, the crocs. Okay, no splash this time. I thought it was Croc came over to grab it, but it was a bird. 
Okay, who the hell are you? You're differently... That, okay, that's an officer. Hmm. Let's see, there isn't much to do in this area that I recall. There... There probably is a one... There's probably a scrap of the uh, photo in here, but other than that... I don't think there's much of use, and that is where the Gurkhas are hiding, and... Okay, I... Did you see the croc just pop up in the water as well? I, I think they move up and down through the... what you can see or not. As in, they dive and such. Okay. Now, let's see. Watch we should be able to swim over from here safely. We don't have anything to distract or lure them with yet. And yeah, we'll just have to hope that there's no croc nearby at the moment. So <clears throat> let's do a full save and overwrite. Okay, there's. I thought the slots were limited. Or did I just not use them all before? He has some massive holes in his line of sight. Come on. Good. But yeah, this general area is now safe for us to traverse. Okay. We'll just have to deal with this guy and his friend over there. Actually, we could probably snipe him and just be done with him. Though our ammo for the sniper rifle is, of course, very limited. Hmm. Yeah. Okay, for a moment I thought the Green Beret was in the line of sight, or in the green line of sight there. The, f the, <clears throat> the first ring. Let's Actually, I, I, read, I, I will applaud the developers for uh, this. For I feel like some of the developers were just taking a, a what people typically think of India, but no, they, I, I, so far I hope they took the correct arch uh, architecture style of this region. But that's attention to the detail and uh, you, you, you look for it yourself. This is wonderfully done. Yeah. Let's see. If we can snipe him while he's... Actually, let's put that there. Yeah, nobody has line of sight there. Now, if Duke can snipe him whilst he's over there... Okay, he has no line of sight due to the trees. Okay. And, yeah. He can climb <laughs> He can climb as well, of course. This is very useful for a sniper. Well, it would make sense. Do you have line of sight yes. from here? No. Uh, actually... I have a total, I actually have a sniper in my family. Oh? Yeah. Not gonna say who, though. But okay. I had learned a bit uh, about snipers uh, from them. Okay. Is there anywhere here you get line of sight on that? Hmm. Uh -huh. There's nothing else for you to climb here. We might have to lure him over. Put that there. But I feel like I hold on commenting due to why I'm admiring the environment so much. <laughs> yeah, it, it is all very nicely made. And yeah. here he comes. Okay. But I actually, we made something like this in Ark by accident. Let's try a little something here. Because there's something that we haven't tried yet with the Green Beret here. Uh, oh, of course, he can't bury himself through st solid stone. Yeah, he, he can bury himself in looser grounds to ambush people. And there's the, there he comes. He's going the long way around. Okay, so he's very deadly in autumn then. Yeah, okay, let's... Hmm. 
I can already see it. Helium B, paranoid of every leaf pile. Is it a cat or is it tiny? Yeah, we, we can't deal with him as over there, because the other one will see. Okay, not sure what the alert was for there. Actually, with him now going all the way back, we can take care of this guy without being seen. I gotta worry about like, the guard's neck or something, like, look how much he's moving. Or not, since he's, he doesn't seem to be moving his head at all. Okay. I guess he's uh, turning his eyes, but the, I feel like he would be turning his head a lot through that wide angle. Uh -huh. Here we go, more food for the crocs. Okay. Hmm. Okay, we'll need to cross the bridge to sneak up on you. Yep. But there's the I, other I can say, guy. I am surprised you able to handle not panic that only croc and all that. Okay. I don't think there's one in the area here, but we can do a quick check in to see if there's one underwater. As long as you're brave enough. Oh, there's also a little entrance here, apparently. Is it a, a common fear for my pirate captains to fear crocodiles? Uh, what? Any common for private crap the crap private captains to fear crocodiles. Yeah, you're talking about hook. <laughs> uh. Oh good oh. gods, I just had a remedy. Imagine if he had given me a crocodile icon instead. This is mine. <laughs> okay, oh, I was expecting the Gurkhas, yeah. but no, I just find a bunch of workers. Oh, Gurkur. No, it, oh, it, 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 don't. Again, I'm tripping over my words. I meant Gurkhas, not Gurkur. <laughs> They're not cucumbers. Now, so we can we can actually peek through the water or through the water surface cool. like that. But yeah, we're mostly safe here from crocs. Yeah. I did not expect to find troops in the sewers. But I did mention that earlier. Yeah, that, those weren't Gurkha troops, though. Now, how can we sneak up on you, then? Uh -huh. Okay, we can very easily sneak up on you whilst you're standing over there. And taking a smoke! Okay, that'll be useful for us, once <laughs> you're no longer in need of them. Just gotta wait for him to walk back. So we don't actually start sneaking up on him the moment that he turns around. So he's taking his time. But yeah, in soft ground and such, Tiny would be able to bury himself and just be completely hidden. Actually, let's do a quick save. And the, the, mo the very exact moment I start to move, huh? <laughs> uh -huh. Uh, just my luck with stealth games, huh? Uh -huh. Yeah, you, you don't have very good luck with them usually. But, but you've been able to handle this game rather well. Yeah. <laughs> okay, there he goes. Uh -huh. Five minutes work and then 20 minutes smoke break. Okay, that's an interesting little pistol. Looks a bit low quality compared to everything else. Yeah, just a pistol. Let's see. Type 94, uh, 94 pistol, okay. And of course, the, the German <laughs> pistol is the Luger. Uh, we have no need for that. I, I don't think we get spooky in any of the... Uh, in the Eastern Front uh, missions. Well, uh, I guess it kind of makes sense since he is very obvious French. Nope. Or got European. So you put a European in a Japanese uniform, 
I don't think you're gonna trick the Japanese soldiers. Uh -huh. Yeah. I guess it kinda makes sense. Unless Spooky is a master of making masks on the go. Well, he, he manages to... Mm, I wouldn't... I was going to say he can... He can present himself as a German officer as well. But yeah, that would be a lot more easily uh, tricked since both European and such. Yeah, if I had a... Leave it to me. That kind of uniform, he could probably trick them. And yeah, this this shows where Lupin can climb up walls and such. He could have climbed up here, but since, well, he can't tie people up, he, that is a bit... Yeah, actually, if he was able to tie people up as well, he would have been pretty overpowered with that trick. So let's try a tried and true one. This will take a bit for him to get moving, but it will. Actually, in the meantime, let's move everyone else closer. Ready to go, sir. Duke, you as well. Oh. Uh. Don't mind me, just... Oh, damn it. Well, he's coming all the same now. Uh -huh. he, okay, he, he needs to go through a courtyard there. No, he, he, he actually didn't even get a shot off. Just for a certain... <laughs> really? Uh, where, did, where did that big bulky guy go? Oh, smokes! <laughs> and then he just turns around to... Turns around at the worst last minute. <laughs> I almost feel sorry uh, for him. Oop. There was a croc that popped out of sight, so yeah, the, there's one diving around here at the moment. Oh, this looks like something explosive went off here or something. Okay. Maybe? Or this could... Nah, that doesn't look like shadows for something. Not Nothing nearby, at least. And yeah, here's... The Buddha? I am very no? happy to see you. To the youngest of you, I give a gift. He will be a loyal friend and help you greatly when difficult situations arise. The tyrant that has taken over this area will return if a Gurkha speaks to him using the radio. But he will not come alone. You must be prepared. Thank you again for your help. You will be blessed. Okay. Uh, not the, the Buddha. The Buddha is the full... The, what was the... What is the... Uh, now this is my, this is Burma slash Myanmar nowadays. Uh, oh, in Burma! Oh, oh that explains. Uh, what about India? <laughs> now we're oh, close to India. That is where they are planning to attack. Okay, then, then I goofed. Uh, then yeah, like India has some part of India have something similar to this, but. Okay, so this poor... Okay, yeah, I, I, I'm dumb. I'm dumb. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I didn't explain fully er, earlier. Um, I, I, hmm. more, I misunderstood the mission briefing. But okay, so this is poor, but... Still, I will say that this still good looks gorgeous. Yeah. And I was thinking of... Yeah, I, I was thinking of the wrong spiritual leader myself. The I was thinking of the Tibetan one. I've completely forgotten the name of them. Or the title more. <laughs> I think I have a swell. Dalai Dal Dal Lama or something? Dal it is a D-A-L something. And then Lama. Or it sounds like Lama. 
I, I don't know if Dalla is the title or Lama is the title. This is mine. Or it could both are. There we go. Simple lure and stab. They do say that smoking will kill you. Oh and dear gods. In which case, Tiny is a smoke's mascot. Let's see. There is where the Gurkhas are hiding. Where can I hide to get around this guy? He, he, As an officer, he won't be interested in the smokes. Hmm. I is know the Gurkhas are the Indians? I think, it, I think it did call them Indian mercenaries or something, or... Hmm. <laughs> I mean, you are the mercenaries. Uh, or... the, the commandos aren't mercenaries. Oh, I know, yeah. Because the Gurkhas are... I already forgot a lot from the mission briefing. Probably because I admire the architecture, but it looks so good. I hope the... Uh, the, uh, what was the name of the developers again? Pyro? Yeah. If they ever return, I, can, I would love to see them make a fantasy game with these skills. I think they were bought out by someone. Uh, I forget who. Not a big name, I think. Um, I can probably just do a quick Google. And let's see. Uh... We do not want to go walking in here unprepared. There's two guys over there. There's one that is doing circles, I'm guessing. There's an officer talking with someone. That's it. Okay. Let's see. Can we move around? We should be able to move around somewhat freely here. I'm not seeing any more soldiers. So there's one and there's two. But none of these look out across the water, I think. Someone on the roof. Let's see. Okay, you. Piece of cake. Here we go. Uh -huh. Another winner of who wants to get stabbed by a big green beret. <laughs> Okay. I need smash. This is mine. Okay, even more ammo to, left to deal with. Let's have a peek in here in case someone's in here. Oh. They're, of course, they're hook, using a hookah or a water pipe or whatever that's supposed to be called. And there's a stairs down. Okay. Oh. I think he was going to look through the same window that we were. I, I don't think it would get us spotted, but it would have been pretty hilarious if it did. Okay. You could have just climbed through the window yet as well. Uh, let me think. I was thinking of something. Uh, I, I have a relative who was in the commandos. I for uh, he never saw uh, action. I'll just preface with that. Ooh, he has a line of sight above here a bit. And if I recall correctly, he Good. he was a command. Uh, yeah, he was a commando, and he was a green beret. But yeah, he never saw. Uh, he not he never saw combat. Luckily. Okay. Hmm. Uh, wait, wait. Did, did you say about relative? Yeah, an uncle of mine. Oop. Almost in spawning range there. Uh, who the hell is that? The wait, allied wait, contacts. Uh, who do the Green Berets serve? Uh, Green Berets, all right, I think it's more general. Uh, it isn't a one army specific, I believe. They're, I believe they are a thing among multiple uh, European armies. Uh, just uh, yeah, special rank and such. Okay. Don't know, but what kind of accent is teen, tiny speaking? I almost said teeny. 
Uh, I think he's supposed to be Irish or something. Or no, threat is Irish, I think. Uh, let's. See. What's in the? What's in the locked box? Okay, we need loop in here. Um. I would not be surprised if the I manual quickly. I would not be surprised if I let one of my friends watch this. Watch this. Watch this. Words today. He will probably be able to identify most accents. Or attempted accents, at least. Yeah. Uh, where is... Where's the game? It's supposed to be around here. A, B, C... You look very stiff at the moment. Okay, it looks like my physical copy is missing in action at the moment. Hmm. Oh dear. I'll just, I'll just have to do a better look. Okay. <laughs> Japanese soldier just casually sticks his head through a wall. Okay, deal with you. There. Okay. Nothing on him. And what about you? There never used to be weapons in this holy town, but that was long time ago. These are, however, difficult times. Here are your weapons. Away, sir. Okay, so... Oh, okay. This is where we're supposed to arm the Gurkhas, I'm guessing? Yeah, that's quite Agreed. a bit of... Uh, wait, is that... Are those sniper... Is that sniper ammo? Yes, that's sniper ammo. <laughs> okay, Duke just got a lot more uh, shots to... Well, <laughs> use. Boy. Let's see. Oh, dear. Let's tag you. Okay, this is a very small little ledge to actually be walking around, and I'm not seeing a slope or ramp here. Boy. So... Bit of an odd architectural choice. Unless that's... Uh -huh. Huh. Okay. Yeah, that does look a bit weird. Uh -huh. Okay. Let's climb down. And there we go. I... Hmm. I don't recall if the Japanese soldiers actually get machine guns here. I think... It's only with the German soldiers. Okay, let's have a peek there. Agreed. This looks something religiously important, but not okay. strategically important. Okay. Good. Moving on. Anything in here? Okay, a, a rifleman, two riflemen, an officer. Okay, both of whom are walking back and forth, and one guy who is just guarding the door with his ass. Hmm. Are you telling me he be eating cabbage soup? <laughs> uh, possibly. Oh, good gods, run! <laughs> Is going to keep it okay. That guy just keeps going back and forth, and the officer he also goes back and forth, but he takes breaks in the middle. So let's quickly there we go. Just dump me in the shade here. Okay, <clears> okay, <throat> stay out of his line of sight, and yeah, he's practically blind. Oh, over there. So once these, once the officer is back here, we're just going to grab him. This is mine. Actually, does he have? 
No, he has low, no line of sight. Just in case they do catch a glimpse, since there are a lot of open areas that they can just catch a peek through. Okay. And yeah, we have cleared a, a good area, so even if Tiny were to get down here, we would be able to retrieve him relatively simply if we have any medicine at all, that is. Which we do not. Oh, there we go. Lupin playing medic again. We got another new guy here. The, uh, the guy with the hat. Uh, no, that... It's, that's Thread. We had him before during the second training mission. He's a driver. And, yeah, we were... <laughs> We won't be getting access to vehicles in this level or the next, I think. Right away, sir. Uh, but yeah, I, I think he's meant to just steer the boats whilst we head out. <laughs> Good. Okay. Now, well, the boat is a vehicle. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Stab him. Oh, that also worked. <laughs> that saved us the trouble of clearing out the upper area. <laughs> yeah, I think one other advantage that Tiny has is that he has more health than the others. With Lupin yeah. having the least, I think. He kind of becomes a um, bullet sponge. Yeah. Also, it, something to show off. Uh, ev everyone can wear uniforms. Uh, but uh, due to his size, Tiny... Uh... Uh -huh. Oh, this one actually fits decently well. <laughs> Typically, he just bulges out of it, and it's just worn okay. on him. It kind of looks a bit tight. Uh -huh. It does... It does look decent on him. Boyd. But brown is overall, in general, a, a decent color. Yeah, we just cleared this place out. <laughs> oh, not entirely yet, though. Good. Uh -huh. Don't rush. Yep, he would have spotted us. There we go. Boy. Uh, yeah, we probably should have been looking for containers to use. Uh, what is that? CS. See, that's great. You neutralize enemy soldiers without killing them. Uh, da -da -da -da, into a group of enemies and they will be knocked out. They can be tied up and be examined. You should act quickly. Okay, so it's knockout gas. I think only Thread can use that, though. Uh, we can't put that off. We, we can't put that away because it's currently equipped. Hmm. Those two don't seem to be moving at all. And yeah, it, it will eventually just fall to shreds around. <laughs> really? <laughs> he just gave the cockney slacker a kick and he goes right back to sleep. That wasn't planned, but it works all the same. That <laughs> okay, they didn't have an animation of the soldiers lying on their back, so he's just lying on his front. Which I'm, I hear isn't all too healthy. It depends. Like, you shouldn't sleep like that. Like, if you're just watching TV and lay on your, uh, on your stomach, Especially if you ultimate upward, it can be good, especially if you've been sitting by a piece a lot bent forward. Uh -huh. And it's gonna be help bend back, fix the back a little bit, but yeah, you should sleep on your belly. There like, we go. I used to do that as a kid. Let's refill a bit. Anything useful on you? No. Uh -huh. But oh, yeah, yeah. Sleep my your belly. Yeah. Sleep your belly is one of those. You can do that if you just wanna gonna watch TV or so maybe have a short nap, but not a full sleep. Yeah. <clears throat> Agreed. 
Okay, there's just the tenons. There's just that there. Oh, sleeping pills. We speak, but, to speak about hmm. sleeping. <laughs> I'm not sure if, if they... Oh, okay, so they can be used by everyone else. Uh, don't forget at the least they can, they can drug it, at least. There we go. I uh, might as well keep that with. I think Thread is the only one who can use the special grenades. Uh -huh. So let's heal up that a little bit. Oh, hello. Good. I could have planned that a bit better, but oh well, full ammo again. Actually, since since they're all running here, okay, let's just do that. Leave it to me. And that should do. Ooh, that should deal with that. I was about. Oh, I was about to on. heal him again. Come on. Uh, so mean. Well, he's over there. We can bring the rest of the team forwards because Tiny's inventory right. is starting to fill up a bit. Uh, also, youngest that is Lupin. Here we go. So. Let's see. Yes. Yes. Uh, yes. Okay, we can't open it. Yes. He doesn't have an inventory. Hmm. Okay, then. Um, let's see. Where were those closed boxes? They were over here. Tell me. Also, also, I think his accent is a bit thick on some things, but I think he was saying going there. Okay. Okay. Me. And it seems that no one, no other takers have shown up. Okay. Yes. <sighs> Boy. You fill your ammo. It's, it's probably nothing Boy. special on any of these. Okay. Aha. Let's go give Duke his ammo. Let's read his toys, uh -huh. and then we can move on. I, th hmm. I don't think we'll be able we'll finish this mission in this stream, uh, but we should be able to finish it pretty quickly in the next. Because this is, uh, this one is rather, uh, is a bit uh, is shorter than the others. But uh... okay, uh, were you hungry, Lupin? Is that a whole fish? That's supposed Wait. to be a lure or something. Did you steal a crocodile's dinner? Let's see. Uh, oh yeah, that's also something that we had, didn't have access to before, but uh, Lupin has his pet rat that he can send out to, uh, well, be a rat. Uh -huh. <laughs> Just be a general what? nuisance. So weren't these... We have a oh. Minsk. Okay, I see what happened. Uh, the boxes weren't locked. They, well, they from they were, but this guy unlocked them for us. <laughs> nice. Yes. Okay, let's take that and that. Presume the Gurkhas would have some weapons of their own no. still, but there will be more than enough for us uh. to gather for them. Okay. Time to start trading. Get that. Uh, let's keep the wine bottles for the moment. You get your spicy mayo, your smoke bombs, and your knockout bombs. Uh, oh yeah. Also, the shovel is yours. What you can actually do with that is to dig, well, to dig manhole uh, pits and such. And anyone who walks over those just vanishes. <laughs> just plain up poof. <laughs> Oh dear. Okay, uh, eat another can. You go hide with the others. Uh, okay, I was going to say just get in there, but okay. Luckily, the frogs have a low field of view. Field of view. I was almost saying field of vision. We are willing to serve you, but we have no weapons. Oh. <laughs> okay then. Uh, 
Lupin, you have the rifle. Go deal with the croc so we can get our friends out there, okay? It's likely to tick off these guys, but we should be gone by the time they run over. Also, is there anyone up here? Just those three. Hmm. I'm ready. Actually, what is up the other exit here? Good. And only four guys? Well, we don't have much to say on that, since, well, we are also only four guys. Here we go. We are ready. Oh, it, they have a fifth. Okay, they have one over on us. Okay, take a look. Oh, hello. Is this some sort of command center or something? Oh, no, it's a... It's not a barracks. What is... Nick. Either way, we're going to grab this guy. He, just in case he uh, would get okay. alerted and become a problem then. He's sneaking over like an oversized snake. Boy. Hmm. Okay. That's an officer. What are you... Okay, you're just a differently clothed soldier. Okay. Take a look up here. And that's the roof. Okay. Then we can go down here. And... <laughs> okay, almost, almost mistook those for tiny wings, but no, those are windows. Who puts windows in a giant... Well, the Statue of Liberty has windows in the torch, I believe. Yeah, hmm. but you can actually go out on the tour to look around, I think. Yeah. Okay, let's dump this guy downstairs. Just for safety's sake. Uh, get the Gurkhas, get them up. And... This is mine. Yeah, plan our way forwards from there. Yes. Okay, up you go. You guys will probably need a bit of a bath after this, especially the wounded one. Let's go. Okay, what I'm thinking at the moment is the, the plaza seems to be mostly clear, but that could just be because they have people looking out over it. We have one here, we have one at the gate here. Uh, but yeah, if, once we deal with this guy, go, we can just go out here meet up with the rest of the crew. Huh. And... Hmm. Yeah. Then it should just be a simple case of working our way over towards the, the radio tower here. Just taking off soldiers one by one as we go. Okay, this time just going for the simple stab and not the, <laughs> the throat slice tiny. <laughs> oh dear. I think annoying. we should be glad he'd be not giving him an axe or something like that. Yes. Uh, uh -huh. yes, sir. Okay, yeah. <laughs> a bit of a visual glitch. Like, how did, I was like, yeah, how the hell did you get up there? But no, he was just showing through the geometry. Uh -huh. Okay. Boy. What's in here? A guy and a Diaz, Diaz, or whatever those are called. Okay. That's it. No, you can keep admiring it while you're a ghost. Done. Okay, just a simple a ask if we want to go get something from the what shops. Wait, Let's see. Oh, this is the other side of that tunnel we found earlier. Which should mean that this guy... Oh, he, he does move. Uh, wish I could do that, sir. But he doesn't move a lot. Okay, we can just take these out. 
Okay. Uh -huh. he, he totally should have seen him there. Yeah. One ass stab. And another ass stab. I, I, again, I'm just... I'm still just confused okay. by that one worker who had high explosives in their inventory. Like, and we haven't found anything like that since. <laughs> just you wait. Noise. Just you wait. Uh, we're going to end up finding a bazooka on one of those dumbasses uh -huh. at one point. I would be surprised we somehow uh, find uh, a bazooka on a rat. Yep. Okay, I think that means that if if we just hand him any rifle, that he should be that he should just have infinite ammo after that, like the uh, soldiers in the second training mission had. So, uh, do you go? Up? No, not there. Are there anyone else in here with rifles, or can I just try and select a specific rifle of? Off of the stack because Tiny is carrying around a bunch of them. Yeah, five of them. So, Brad, we almost only using Tiny here. Yeah. Um. Let's go deal with that guy in the corner so we don't forget about him. Also, Tiny, the other way. Oh, there's a, there's a, uh, this, this. Oh, okay. There is someone else watching out the windows as well. I, I was smart of me to do that, because otherwise Tiny would have been shot the hell of whilst he was crossing there. There we go. Anything in here? A little safe spot. And a guy just walking back and forth between windows. No, he... Uh, you could have gone the other way if you <laughs> just needed to go to that window. Okay. Hmm. He might be getting sight outside. So we'll have to deal with him. This is mine. Oh. Uh, down, quickly. Accidentally wasting shots. Oh well. Leave it to me. Uh, yeah, he <laughs> could have gone better, but could have also gotten worse. That was only like a, a fourth of his health. Let's see, any boxes here that we can open? No, and this thing, this tower is only one this way in and out. Okay. Uh, yeah, let's meet up with the rest of the crew and start arming the Gurkhas. Are you sure you're able to do that in less than two minutes? Yeah, they are just over here. We'll just have to hand someone else the ammo for the rifle at the moment. I, I, I do not want... To, there is plenty of ammo lying around, or weapons lying around, but I don't want to end up without any ammo on our team. So, there. <laughs> Single shot, and you can get that. Actually, Agreed. I can do more, since we have multiple rifles. Can I split those somehow? Mm, doesn't look like it. Let's hope this just gives one. Okay, he does have multiple shots. Yes, sir. Yeah, having infinite ammo is going to make things a lot easier yeah. to deal with things. Is, this, is he going to get a third skill? Yes, he is. Uh -huh. <laughs> so, yeah, you can see why having these guys will be very useful still. We can, we can probably just go in an absolute murder spree. Uh, Lupin, where, there you are. Uh, you get up there and grab some rifles. You also take a rifle. Everyone here takes rifles. 
Yeah, no officers, no pistols. Okay. And we already have a rifle. Your own. Uh. Actually. We are ready. You are already armed. Okay, that's what we saw there with that crosshair was a sniper taking aim. <laughs> Luckily, Lupin was fast as fuck and managed to do yeah, literally, um, almost literally dodge a bullet. But uh, yeah, if that had aligned, he would have been dead. Those snipers uh, don't raise the alarm, apparently. We are ready. And yeah, the, the timer has gone off, but let's, let's not go. send those dumbasses running across the plaza. Let's just get them a, a rifle each and uh, they can probably get them here as well and then we'll call it a stream yeah. uh, actually can you Tell me. All right. can they in, uh, open other people's inventories themselves okay. Sahib. no they cannot okay so we just need to have one of the commandos transfer their weapons Anyone with rifles here, or is it just pistols? That one should have a rifle. No. Alrighty. Okay, up to the roof then. Just a small extension for logistics, but oh well. Here we go. <clears throat> Let's go. But yeah, stuff like this over here, there we'll find that a few times more throughout the game where you. <laughs> The enemies are just being dicks right. to each other as well. Uh, nothing there. Nothing there because Lupin took that one. It's there should be an aisle here. Oh, I'd forgotten you had the ammo there still. Uh, yeah, let's just put that on the body. So we still have ammo because, yeah, they will have infinite ammo, but we won't. So we can just give them an empty rifle and it will work for them. Uh, isn't there a second body here? And the thirds. You have the ammo. You have a rifle there. Uh, not picked it up. Yeah, we can we can lack a little bit of ammo. There. Pick that one up, and then get that the other one at the bottom of the pile. And there we go, one fully armed Gurkha squad. And this thread just <laughs> stuck holding yes, the ammo. We're listening, sir. Okay, let's just put them all the back together again. And then we'll end the stream there, well, after we raid, of course. There we go. Oop. Wrong door. Okay, what the hell? I did not mean to open up the languages thing for the keyboard there. What what, what combination of buttons do they... I, I, actually, yeah, I think that's shift and control. Let's go. Uh, but yeah. I did not do the thing. Let's go. Gather everyone up here. Just look into the corner so we don't start shooting at random things. And yeah, good progress through this level. Uh, yeah, Dust Boots and White Death and such are the longest levels so far, I think. At the, at the end, of course, we're also going to get other long levels. Uh, another, okay, I think it's just making new of the new ones of these every time we fill them up. It, there needs to be two. <laughs> I'll just leave it as that. But uh, yeah, we should be able to finish up that level next time and get into uh, the bridge over River Kwai. <clears throat> uh, let's turn... Nice. Not that, that's a wrong... Those aren't active anymore. Exit the game and head over here. Uh, note to self, I really should add ROM and Hexus uh, avatars here as well. Okay. For now, though, uh, opening up the browser making sure the site is muted there <clears throat> pardon and did did i have any coughing at all during this stream i 
I was a bit Not more focused on the more, game. I think, you, I think you coughed a little bit in the beginning, but... Not much. Okay. I, I know I have caught a little bit, but I think somebody did not get caught on uh, the mic. But we haven't been covered really much. All right. It, okay, let's see who is online. Whiskey Project is streaming Warcraft 3, apparently. They must have found some way to get around the uh, uh, Blizzard launcher or something. Uh, I've, heard, <clears throat> I've heard that uh, there are modders currently basically reforging Warcraft 3 reforged, so it's actually, it actually delivers what was promised, instead of just the absolute bullshit that that turned out to be. Uh, that, uh. Yeah, I'm thinking of streaming Warcraft 3 at some point, and if that project is uh, completed by then, I'll definitely be using that then. Yeah, okay. the heck? I used to play Warcraft 3 so much as a kid, but seeing how Blizzard have become now, it almost hurts. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Whiskey is a bit big for us to raid, so let's see. K9 is streaming Vampire Survivors. I think they were doing that last time as well. Uh, Kiri Natsuyoko, the, the, the quiet kitty, is streaming Monster Hunter Frontier G. Can't say I've heard of that one before. It's and then we have Pexical streaming Disney Dreamlight Valley again. And that's all of the people that I have followed. So let's go look at the recommended. We have Mysterious Fox, who is streaming Warhammer 40k... Chaos Gate. Chaos Gate, yeah, there it goes. Plus uh, DLC. Then we have uh, Mr. Icarus streaming Turbo Overkill. I'm not sure if I've heard of that game before. Uh, that's I'm a bit sure big. Myself. Puffy Cakey, that's another name we've seen before. Same as Mysterious Fox. Um, Icarus is new, I think. Uh, anyways, uh, nope. Is that Puffle Cakey, not Puffy? Puffle Cakey is streaming The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt. I definitely want to stream The Witcher series at one point, but that's going to take quite a while with the third one I've heard. So it's quite big. Yeah. <clears throat> uh, Hamster of Wrath is streaming Battletech. Uh, Agent number one is streaming Dwarf Fortress, another new one, I think. Uh, that's an art stream. That's a very... Okay, Games Done Quick is uh, doing Final Fantasy VII, apparently. And those two are also a bit big for us to raid. And... Oh, it looks like someone is going online, uh, is, is going live as we speak. And that should be Fren, if I remember correctly from the name. I'm, it's only showing the freaking icon. Potato? Uh, yeah, Frayne. They, yeah, they're streaming Dawn, uh, <clears throat> Warhammer 40k Dawn of War, uh, which is a series I've played myself through the first and second one. The third I've heard is uh, not too liked. Yeah, I only <laughs> played the uh, first Dawn of War with its DLCs and all, but I not played the other ones. Okay, that's a tag to put into your tags. <laughs> Incompetent. As long as they are calling themselves that, it's uh, funny-ish. But yeah, any of these uh, sound like you want to raid? We should raid. Hmm. Good question. I'm not <laughs> sure, actually. Uh, let's see, I'll take a pick then. Uh, Lionheart, um, I know that YouTuber. Uh, yeah, the, let's see, Mountain he, he Blade 2 they're work. streaming. He also played a lot of uh, uh, Total War Warhammer. Okay. Uh, another popped up here on the refresh. Uh, Casey Explosion, the Serpent Rogue. Uh, oh, I, put up, I know all of them. I don't know them personally. I've only seen the videos. Just yeah. to clarify, I don't know the person. I don't yeah, know them. A, a lot of people who watch stuff from certain uh, people a lot, they do get... Uh, tend to get the notion that they know the person themselves, but uh, no, <laughs> keep a bit keep a bit of distance between creators and uh, fans. Not not too much distance, but yeah, don't try to get creepy with it. Uh, I'm thinking yeah, we like, go raid Cakey. Yeah, Markiplier moved houses a few times because of it. Yeah. Uh, let's see. 
Oh dear. No, oh, that's a good model. Okay. Copy the name, go to our place, and of course, slash raid and paste. But before we start the raid, of course, uh, thank you everyone who <clears throat> thank you everyone who has been watching now or later. And uh, <coughs> let me let me take a quick peek back peek back uh, here. Uh, ta -ta -ta. There we go. Uh, thank you, Tammy Akunia, uh, for the following. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the show, and uh, I hope we'll see you more another time then. And of course, as always, thank you as well, Rakir. You're welcome as always, my friend. And yeah, with that, we'll start the raids. And yeah, we sh should be able to do another stream tonight. I Brahms, uh, Brahms didn't really say uh, yes or no, so probably I'm I'm I'll uh, hedge my bet safely on a no for now. Uh, but if if he if he manages to get enough uh, sleep from his nap, we could do binary domain. Otherwise, we'll do more Monkey Island. Sounds like a plan. So, yeah. Uh, yeah, thank you all again. And until next time, have a nice day. And until then. Be safe, everyone. And watch out for seagulls. And crocodiles. And flying and crocodiles. And sewer gurkers. <laughs> <laughs> uh.